Blackmagic Design is really big for independent filmmakers. Lots of great products. Let's just sit with that. No Film School's NAB 2023 coverage is brought to you by Blackmagic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. And Lexar, live for the memory. What we introduced today is the new 12K OLPF model. So it's got an optical low-pass filter. Awesome. And so now we're going to make a choice. So you can either buy it with or without the, the uh, low-pass filter. Mm -hmm. uh, what it does with the low-pass filter is it got us certified for Netflix, so people can use it for that. Obviously, you can put a wide range of lenses on it uh, and a wide price point, too. But um, yeah, so this is a, a new model. It's going to really help with virtual productions, eliminating moray, things like that. Now, some people were doing uh, low-pass filtering with their lenses and whatnot, but now that some of these larger lenses with that are really clear require the low-pass filter, so that's why we introduced the new model, yeah. I'm going to see this kind of unfold over years. really exciting for me as an image maker, especially as you get bigger clients, especially as you get bigger projects, but also knowing that you're not forgetting about the little guy, that the pocket is still alive, that the, you know, that Resolve is still affordable, that, you know, uh, what, what are the kinds of things, like, when you look at that, somebody growing kind of through your ecosystem of, of, of products, what are the what are the opportunities that you see that 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 you think you're doing better than anybody else? Well, I don't know about better than anybody else. It's just that our philosophy has always been to enable the masses, right? And the masses are a, a wide range, right? At the high end, guys just use the quality, right? The prices don't really even make as much a difference to them, but on the students and whatever, now people are growing up with Blackmagic cameras. So our menu structure transfers across the model so that you know how to use it even if you've never used it because you know a Blackmagic, what the interface looks like, right? We do that. The Resolve, obviously, is it starts free, comes with cameras, you know, right? And we keep updating that to work with our Blackmagic RAW codex and other codex, and, you know, it's very universal. Uh, but then now cameras are being used with live productions with the ATEMs, and, you know, and those build up through the series from, you know, 295 all the way up. Blackmagic is a company that, that looks at everything. Like, I, I like to think of it as from the image sensor all the way back through delivery. What do you see as the future? What 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 is the where is our industry going? Because you have such a wide footprint, you guys can see things that nobody else can see. What what are you thinking about? Well, I think what we've shown by introducing some new products in the cloud dock area for what our storage. You know, we're using the cloud to move projects with the Blackmagic cloud. We're using Dropbox and Google Drive to move files back and forth. But what you're able to do is give smaller productions the opportunity to use people around the globe this way and collaborate. So you can be editing wherever and you can get a colorist from Guam. You know, like it doesn't matter where they are. And that kind of uh, collaborative workflow we've opened up by doing the Blackmagic cloud service, $5 a month to host a library, uh, and everyone else can join it free. We're adding features to that with presentation now in beta. Uh, and I think that's really, it's sort of a hybrid workflow, hybrid future that we have, and we have components to make that happen. That feeling of, hey, this isn't just me doing it, but I'm part of this, this much bigger system. It's really inspiring. Thank you so much, Bob. Thank you.